His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly a cabinet meeting at Gulaybiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the ever-growing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Sultanate of Oman, which build on the unwavering support of both His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed. The cabinet welcomed the official visit of His Majesty the Sultan of Oman at the invitation of His Majesty the King to the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting the importance of the visit and furthering bilateral cooperation and coordination across various fields. The cabinet also commended the depth of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE and reviewed the outcomes of the 10th session of the Joint Higher Committee between the two countries, which was recently held in Bahrain, to develop bilateral cooperation and joint coordination across various fields. His Royal Highness directed the implementation of projects that will improve traffic flow in Bahrain and directed the Ministry of Works to carry out the necessary measures. The Cabinet then approved a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Works regarding a number of road development projects. On the occasion of United Nations Day, the Cabinet congratulated the United Nations and affirmed the importance of their principles and values. The Cabinet then approved the following. A memorandum by the Minister of Interior on the launch and development of several government services as part of the plan to re-engineer procedures aimed at improving the efficiency of government services. The Cabinet then reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the performance of economic indi indicators for the third quarter of 2022, which showed a positive trajectory for economic indicators and reflects the efforts undergone by the implementation of priority economic development programs such as the Economic Recovery Plan and the Fiscal Balance Program. The Cabinet also reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs regarding the follow-up of the performance of government agencies in the Sijilat, Tawasl and Binayat systems for the period from July to October 2022, which remain vital indicators of government services efficiency. The memorandum demonstrated advanced performance levels in the Tawasl system, where 52 government agencies received more than 58,000 submissions, inquiries and complaints from July to October 2022. In 99.5% of cases, the response time did not exceed the specific time frame. Regarding the Binayat system, 459 requests were received, none of which exceeded the time limit specified in the service level agreement. There were 50,854 requests received and an SLA compliance rate of 99%. The Cabinet then took note of the following ministerial reports. The official visit of the Minister of Interior to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The outcomes of the 10th session of the Joint Higher Committee between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates. Participation in the 23rd meeting of the Ministerial Committee in charge of following up on the implementation of joint action decisions in the GCC. The outcomes of the Minister of Industry and Commerce's uh, meetings in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. 
participation in the 77th session of the Executive Office of the Council of Arab Ministers of Social Affairs. Participation in the 8th meeting of the Committee of the Ministers of Health of the GCC. Participation in the 85th meeting of the GCC Health Ministers' Council.